three, two, one, go! And with that, our last qualification match is underway. The last chance for any shakeup in the rankings before Alliance selection. And so far, the Blue Alliance making a strong showing. Both Red and Madtown having scored two game pieces already, and both going back for a third. It looks like Red did not quite make their mark to score that third game piece. Madtown did get another cone place, but either way, it is a commanding lead for Blue. As we start telly up, oh, and for Red, Milk and Knights caught in a traffic jam and wind up on their side, battery on the field. A disappointing outcome for Red Alliance. They'll have to work extra hard to come back from that. And on the Blue Alliance, meanwhile, Bread and Milk and Knights coming back. Excuse me, Bread and Madtown with a cube and a clone respectively, quickly placing those in the Blue Alliance grid and both once again over at their loading zone. On Red, we see much of the game piece scoring coming from East Palo Alto Churobots. They're trying to find a way to get to their loading zone around fallen teammate, the Milken Knights. But with Alliance partners 69-98 coming in, uh, taking some of that defensive heat from GRT away from their teammates, Trobots, allowing Trobots to grab a cube from the Red Alliance's loading zone and start to try and make their way back towards the home side of the field. But with a minute, 10 seconds left to go in the match, it is difficult to keep up with the commanding pace of scoring that the Blue Alliance is showing. Bread is racing back with a cone this time. Blue Alliance already has their upper row entirely filled out. Madtown dropping off a cube in the bottom row as well. Blue has 50 seconds left to try and place as many of those game pieces as they can in their grid. And just about in unison, Madtown and Bread adding one more apiece. It looks like East Palo Alto Turobot still valiantly trying to score for the Red Alliance. Filling out that bottom row first, dropping off one more cube. Well, Alliance partners 6998 do their best to lend support. But with 30 seconds left, it is the Blue Alliance still well in the lead. Red dropping off one more cone. Madtown practically tossing one of their hybrid nodes. 15 seconds left, and 6998 is on the charging station for Red, while Blue has two robots on their own charging station. 10 seconds left, looks like Bread trying to get one more game piece in there while Churobots race back for the Red Alliance. Three seconds left, and it looks like both alliances will finish with two teams engaged a piece and Bread adding one more cube by a score of 178 to 88. And the Blue Alliance takes four ranking points, keeping Madtown and Bread in first and second rank respectively.